51 brings with it one of the most talked about adventure bikes the motorcycle industry has ever seen. Mostly the chatter between fans on social media was about the styling of the Pan America 1250. The rest of us, we were more interested in how seriously it looked like Harley Davidson were taking this project. Indeed, after sitting down with some of Harley Davidson UK's key staff to talk about the bike earlier this year, it was very, very clear that Harley had the top of the market clearly in their sights for the new machine. That meant bikes like the KTM 1290 Super Adventure S were about to gain a rival. Having just ridden both the 1290 Super Adventure S and the Pan America 1250 Special on UK roads this year, we thought it was the perfect time to sit down and mull over which was the best for scratching on a B road, blasting to the south of France, or tackling the toughest of trails. Before we get into the video though, please do take a minute to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to let us know in the comments which head-to-head -head you'd like to see in the next feature. First and foremost, both of these bikes handle much better on a twisty B road than anything this size and shape has any right to. Adventure bikes have really transformed in the last 10 years or so, going from tall, ungainly machines to focused and supremely capable on pretty much any road. With semi-active suspension, powerful Brembo stoppers, high-tech rider assistance systems and thumping great V-twin engines, the Pan America and the Super Adventure are two of the quickest and best equipped adventure bikes on the market. The Pan America is by far the best handling petrol-powered HD branded bike you are ever likely to ride. It's super stable, supremely sprightly out on the road and its electronic suspension is just stunning in the way that it works. It just does its thing away in the background without giving you a hint that it's actually even there. If the Pan America is the chalk, the cheese is the KTM and the 1290 Super Adventure is habanero cheddar with extra chili. The electronic suspension on the KTM has improved enormously since I first rode one back in 2017. The system is maybe not quite as slick as the Harleys, but it does offer a level of adjustability that the Pan America can't match. You have the ability to individually adjust damping and preload rates if you opt for the suspension pro pack. The KTM really is a technology fan's dream. And it's not just the suspension that wins this round for KTM. The chassis is sublime. It's almost like they took the 690 frame and geometry and upscaled it for the Super Adventure. It feels just like a dirty great supermoto. It's playful, always egging you on and just wants to go faster. If you want an adventure bike with the heart and soul of a supermoto machine, the KTM is the one for you. Away from the peg scraping shenanigans of the B road, one of these bikes stands out as being just the ticket for crossing continents in absolute comfort and ease. Some people are surprised when I tell them how comfortable and easy to ride the Pan America is, but in truth, it should really be no surprise at all. Harley has been making bikes designed specifically for long distance riding since before most of us were born. Once you ride the Pan America, that experience really shines through. Its riding position is totally relaxed, neutral and roomy enough for those much taller than myself. It also has something that no other bike in the sector has, adaptive ride height. The system lowers the bike when you stop and raises it when you start riding again. It's a £700 option, but for short ass riders like myself, it's a godsend on a bike like this. While the Harley is the more comfortable of the two and basically winning this round, it is left behind in just one slight area, the size of the fuel tank. The Pan America features a 21 litre tank, while the KTM has a 23 litre fuel tank. While that extra couple of litres isn't going to save a cross-continent trip from disaster, it does add a little safety net that's always welcome when you're on a big ride. Of the two bikes, it's clear there will only be one winner when it comes to riding off-road, and yes, it is the KTM. If you wanted a big adventure bike to actually use on the dirt, KTM's wealth of knowledge in the sector makes the Super Adventure a very difficult bike to ignore. From its off-road specific riding modes to its high-spec WP suspension, it's clear that for the vast majority of owners, the 1290 Super Adventure is going to be all the bike they need, and so much more. And before you think that that is a negative on the Harley Davidson, it's really, really not. The Pan America is a supremely capable bike on the dirt. 
On the UK press launch for this bike, we rode around the Mick Extant's adventure experience in Wales. We were riding on the same Michelin Harley-Davidson co-branded tyres we'd been using for the road ride. We rode on shale, slate, rocks, deep mud, cross streams, and the Pan America handled it all with aplomb. It's just that this segment of the review is trying to highlight the absolute best machine of the two for riding off-road. And the more focused and capable KTM just pips the plucky newcomer at the post. For a more thorough review of both of these bikes, please take a look at the links in the description below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all of Visordown's latest videos.